Hi guys, this is Daniel from FND. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a high quality 3D text using cycles render in Blender. So let's get started. Before going into the video, change some preferences in the Blender. Go to File, User Preference, Input, change the select width left. Default, it will be in right. If we change it to left, we can select the object with left click then save user settings now delete the cube x to delete now press shift to plus a then select text now to scale press yes on your keyboard and drag your mouse to scale the text press tab on your keyboard to get into edit mode and now we can change our text I'm gonna type in blender now press tab to get back to object mode and move our text to the middle on the x-axis using red arrow to rotate press R X for x-axis and 90 for 90 degrees then enlarge our properties panel and go to object data which is the F icon play around the geometry value to get a better 3d text extrude will extrude our text depth value give bevel to our text then change the resolution to 2 to change the text font click over here and go to windows this will load fonts installed in your computer then select fonts from here I'm gonna move this text to the middle again scale a little bit press yes to scale now to add the floor we need to add the plane mesh shift a mesh plane press yes and drag your mouse to scale I'm gonna make this plane curvy so to do that press tab to get into edit mode press A to deselect press ctrl plus R this will bring the pink line like this then click on your left mouse button and press escape on your keyboard now change the select mode to edge select mode down here and select this edge press number pad 3 on your keyboard to go to the side view press G on your keyboard and move the edge like this now on properties panel go to modifiers tab and add subdivision surface modifier while on the edit mode press ctrl plus R and add edge loop vertically move it to one of the edges Change the view value on the subsurf modifier to 2. Press tab to get into object mode. While the plane object selected on the left hand side, you can see the shading smooth flat. Select smooth shading. Again, go to the edit mode. Press ctrl plus R and add a edge loop vertically and move it close to the left edge. On the right side, it's not close to the edge so I'm gonna select those edges select this edge and shift click this edge will select both these edges and double tap G and move closer to the right edge now again ctrl plus R and add an edge loop horizontally and move it down get back to object mode by pressing tab select our text and move it just in front of our wall and move it slightly upward now select the plane and press tab to go to edit mode select the top edges
and press E to extrude and Z for Z axis and move your mouse to extrude it on the Z axis. Press tab to object mode. Now change our render engine to cycles render. We are going to add materials to our text and plane. Select our text and on the properties panel click on materials then click on new. Now split our window into two. For that click and drag the three diagonal line on the top right corner. Change this view to node editor. Press X on diffuse BSDF to delete it. Then add principled BSDF shader. Shift to plus A shader principled BSDF. Then click and drag this green node from the shader and connect it to the surface of the material output. Move your mouse to the 3D viewport and press shift to plus Z. This will show you the rendered view. Change the metallic value to 0.5 and change the base color. Press Shift to plus Z to get back to the solid view. Now select the plane, add a new material. Delete the diffuse BSDF and add principal BSDF. Connect it to the material output. I'm going to make the floor slightly reflective. So I'm going to reduce the roughness to 0.2 and increase the metallic value to 0.5. Now we are going to work on lighting. Move the lamp in front of the wall. Position it to the left side of the text. Shift to plus D to duplicate the lamp and place it on the center. And also on the right side of the text. Again I am going to duplicate those three lamps and place it in front of the text. Shift to plus Z for rendered view. You can see the rendered view from this viewport. I'm going to split the window into two. One has rendered view and another has solid view. I'm going to make changes in the solid view. That changes also show up on the rendered view. I'm going to hide the lamp on the solid viewport and see whether it make good differences in the rendered view. Shortcut for hide is H. Control plus Z for undo. The wall is too glossy, so I'm going to increase its roughness value and reduce its metallic value in the node editor. So select the wall, open up the node editor. Increase the metallic value and the roughness value. It's become too rough. So I'm going to bring back down the roughness value.
Now I am going to darken up the environment. Click on the world icon on the properties panel. Change the color to black. Now we are going to set up the camera position. So that move and rotate the 3D viewport until you get the desired position. Then Ctrl plus Alt plus numpad 0. This will position our camera to this current location. Then select the camera, press G on your keyboard and move the mouse to pan the camera. On the properties panel, click on the camera icon and increase or decrease the focal length value to zoom in and zoom out. Shift to plus Z to get into the rendered view. The text or of the blender have some weird effects. It is because of the depth value. So I am going to reduce that. To render the image, click on the camera icon on the properties panel. Increase the resolution to 100%. I'm going to change the sampling value to 1000. Click on the scene tab and tick denoising. Again, go back to renders tab. Now click on render. The output render came like this. To save the image, click on the image down here and save as image. Type your file name. Reduce the compression to 0% and save as image. After rendering, I find some mistakes here. So I'm going to rectify it. Press escape. First, I'm going to select the plane and add edge loop. Press tab to edit mode. Control plus R to create edge loop and make it horizontally and move it like this. Now our text is floating on the air. Move and place it on the floor. Letter R has tilts some effects over there. So I am going to reduce the depth in object data. Now I'm going to render the image again. Before that, I'm going to change the samples value to lowest value like 6 to check whether still there is any mistakes. Lower sample values will reduce the time of render. It looks OK. So I'm going to change the samples to higher value. This time I will use only 300 samples because 1000 samples is way too high. Change the device to GPU compute. Now click on render. After rendering, save your image. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give thumbs up. Subscribe this channel for more future tutorials. Also click on the bell icon to get quick notification if I upload a video. Thanks for watching. Bye.